Okay, good morning and happy Monday to the classic Sonic Drip Gang. Looks like everybody's coming in from the Discord server. Hello, everybody. Guys, we got some more cryptic info to discuss today. But before we do that, guys, these are today's featured viewers. Congratulations, everybody, for getting into the video. If you guys want to be featured in a Sonic Club video, all you guys have to do is stop what you're doing right now and smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, and make sure to get into the community Discord server. That is when I announce I'm going live and I'm doing a lobby. That's how everybody in this game got in. With that being said, guys, let's talk about all this pretty crazy new information we got to discuss it all right everybody so let's talk about some of this new stuff that's going on and maybe some new hints about what the future could bring for this game so first things first it looks like the official sonic speed simulator account on twitter has finally actually posted something like they're actually making a concerted effort to push this game out which i feel like you know they haven't really been doing as much so we got a brand new tweet from the official sonic speed simulator account this is run by game fam it says welcome to the official sonic speed simulator twitter and it gives us an overview of what to expect. It says we can expect weekly content updates. Okay, yeah, we get a weekly content update every week. We get behind the scenes posts. Ooh, behind the scenes. That's pretty cool. I feel like I get to be involved a little bit in the behind the scenes, but not really for the most part. Here and there, we run into developers when we're playing. For the most part, you know, I'm pretty much kept out of the dark. They said they're going to give us sneak peeks, so probably similar to what they do on Twitter. I mean, I guess it makes sense to be on Twitter to promote your game. They should be promoting this game wherever. It says we're going to get giveaways, which is kind of like what we do a little bit over here. And the last dot says more, which, you know, could really actually mean nothing. <laughs> but here's the most interesting thing, guys. They said if we hit 15,000 followers within the next 24 hours, they said they're going to give away a code for a new exclusive chow. So as it stands right now, they're at 5,300 followers. So if you guys have a Twitter account, you should first of all follow me on Twitter because, you know, we'd be tweeting over there. You know what I'm saying? You should also go follow the official Sonic Simulator account because if you do, we will get a brand new code tomorrow, which I will be the first one to let you guys know about. Will the chow be good? They're usually never that good. But I feel like codes are still super exciting like anytime you get a code like we used to get codes all the time it used to be so exciting those videos always do pretty well the community always responds well to codes people like getting free stuff people like hitting codes stuff like that's always cool that's all cool you know what i'm saying sonic speed simulator finally has a twitter that's awesome but why is it significant well guys listen we have some more tweets to dig up for you guys so game fan studios just tweeted out and said something's coming at sonic simulator with the eye emoji which means like something crazy is probably about to come to this game now what could that be i don't know but i feel I feel like the game in its current state, as you guys know, popularity has declined a little bit, as you can tell by this Google search trend right here. You know, player count is down, but it's kind of like across the board for all Roblox games. This is because school started. Everybody's views are down. My views are down. But the reason being is obviously this game is geared towards a younger market. The younger kids finally started school. So it's a natural expectation that views are going to decline a little bit and even active player base. Some of you guys got homework. Some of you guys got class. You know what I mean? Also, there's one last thing that leads me to believe that we have some good updates coming in the future, possibly maybe even a rebrand of the game or kind of like a new refocused marketing approach and new content. So one of my friends who's a developer of the game, 1776 Ascended, he just tweeted out on his personal Twitter account. By the way, you guys should follow him as well. Make sure to follow 1776 Ascended on Twitter. He tweeted out the other day, he's interested in seeing how the next few weeks pan out on Sonic Speed Sim should be interesting. So, you know, I'm a pretty vocal guy when it comes to feedback. I'd say at least sometimes the developers watch my videos and I don't usually hold back. Like I'm not going to sit here and be dishonest and say, oh my god this is the best update ever if i don't like an update also because i care about the long-term health of this game and i'm a huge sonic fan i'm literally a sonic channel i'm not a roblox youtuber i believe in the potential and the future of this project and want nothing more for it to succeed so that's why i give feedback and criticism obviously it's my opinion but it's because i care and you know throughout the last couple months i've made several suggestions to sonic speed simulator in their discord server they have a little suggestions tab so i think that the developers are really listening to us and they actually just want to make the game better like which i really do enjoy i like to develop Developers are actively involved with the community, probably more so than any other game I've ever seen. They've done polls in their Discord server about future updates that we want to see. Here are the four in particular that they've talked about. My personal opinion is races and character battles. I feel like the developers understand that the game does need to get like a little bit of a bump or a little bit of a boost. I think the gameplay is actually really good for Sonic Speed Simulator, but there's certain tweaks that need to be done to the game. I think it's important for them to really implement true like competitive multiplayer. Competitive games will always have their own little niche and hardcore fan base no matter what. Right now, there's really Really no competitiveness in the game the racing system is like there's really no incentive to do it they're really short the leaderboards are broken there's no incentive to really do any multiplayer tasks or anything like that that's why then they really need to revamp the races or some form of competitive multiplayer whether it's pvp like fight each other or something i don't know because they talked about character battles as well something to make the game competitive and force multiplayer interaction is something i think is very important regardless of anything another thing that i think needs focus on is the actual platforming of the game and what i mean by this is the actual like level design and stuff like that like pretty much 
much all the open worlds don't really have much platforming to speak of. Yes, it's a speed simulator, but the Sonic franchise is also a platformer. So there should be some more challenging platforming introduced to the game. There's some of it in Chemical Plant, and obviously Stardust Speedway is the best level ever in this game. It's like whatever they could do to add more Stardust Speedways, more platforming to the worlds, and more incentive for progression for high level players would also be good as well. Like I'm too fast to do anything in this game. So when I play the game, the only thing I could really truly look forward to is the Saturday updates, which is a problem, which is why they need to update the multiplayer and make it more competitive with rewards, add some more levels, or just like something to make high level players want to play the game on any day other than Saturday. Saturday, they got it unlocked. They get a lot of players on Saturday, but what can we do with the gameplay from Sunday to Friday? That is what we need to figure out. And that's how we can truly make this game the best of all time. And things that incentivize progression, even for higher level players, are something they need to do. When I was a low level and I couldn't get through a loop-de-loop, -loop, running around and achieving a high enough level to do my first loop-de-loop -loop was a really good feeling. And that's kind of what got me hooked on the game. But once you get past like rebirth level 10 or 20, you really won't experience that feeling ever again. So more of that would be good. But now based off this Meteor Mystery update, it looks like they're going to be focused on story-driven stuff as well, which is good for the game. It's actually really peaks and intrigues my interest. Like, yes, I didn't think this weekend's update was really good at all, but it feels like the Meteor Mystery updates could really lead to like the best string of updates ever. So that's why I'm actually really optimistic. And I gave that update a decent grade, despite the fact that it's like a generic scavenger hunt. So there's a lot of stuff that could be coming to the game, guys. I think the developers are ready to start focusing on making the game better and really listening to our feedback. So if you have any suggestions for Sonic Speed Simulator, please let me know down below in the comments. I will reply in heart and like and comment on the best suggestions. So let me know what you guys think the game needs down below. All these tweets lead me to believe that they are very serious about making this game better. As long as this is an officially licensed Sega product, which is using the Sonic IP, the Sonic community will be paying attention. Even if they're not playing every update, if there's something they could do to bring back some of those players, like a Chow Garden, revamped racing system with a battle pass and rewards and incentive to actually play the multiplayer, character battles, even like story-driven updates and bringing back some fan favorite skins like Shadow or Super Sonic or Silver. I think a lot of players actually do want to see their favorite Sonic characters in the game. Some of them don't even care about the gameplay loop. They're just like, yo, we want to see Shadow in the game. That's not entirely up to game fam as Sega does own the rights to these characters. They have to get updates approved. So sometimes it's out of their control. I don't know what's going on with Sega, but they should just allow us to have Shadow in the game at this point. As opposed to reskins because people want to be represented. That's one of the cooler things about Speed Simulator. They had the flexibility to add characters that otherwise haven't been playable in the Sonic franchise in many, 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 many years. I think those are things that can help the game move in the right direction, but this is very good news, guys. I'm very excited. It feels like the devs are going to start ramping up some of these updates because they have something really good with this game. It has potential to actually be the best Sonic game ever. A multiplayer Sonic game on Roblox with weekly updates, like this could be actually better than anything we've seen in, like ever in the Sonic franchise, but it feels like it's a continuous work in progress. We have the Meteor Mystery storyline, which seems to be very good. Like, I'm very excited about it. I think it could lead up to a couple things. I've talked about it on my live streams and videos, but I think maybe tomorrow or the next day will encapsulate all my theories into one giant video so you guys can, uh, you know, agree or disagree. It looks like a new code will be coming soon. Drop your predictions for what you guys think this is going to be. I got nothing else to say to you guys until I see you next time. Peace out.